Hey guys, it's Jason here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another video with the Creighton EXB. I was just out with the Mojave EXB. Unfortunately, I broke a rear arm, not because of the Mojave, just because of what I was doing. I was sending it guys off the KCRC ramp and it got a little funky and yeah, it came down pretty hard in that rear arm. So either way, we're now guys with the Creighton EXB and yeah, we're gonna have some fun. Just making sure everything was recording there. Let's see how this goes. A couple of small jumps first just to get a feel. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. I haven't driven this truck in a while. I actually thought I broke something the last time I was out with it. So it's kind of funny to be out here right now. I looked it over this morning and I was like, oh, maybe I had either fixed it or I was thinking of another truck. Oh, geez. I was not ready for that. And I think our connector came on. Right guys, I was not ready for that. Um, I've been driving a lot of my, I guess some of my RTRs, like 2050 KVs, 2200 KVs, uh, my Mojave 1650 KV, but that's not geared very high. Um, and yeah, that kind of just caught me by surprise there. Holy jeez, this thing. Definitely this, the 1730 guys, man, you still get a lot of RPMs, but it's still nice and torquey. And it's just such a fast motor. This truck is, Definitely in need of some TLC though. I've, my chassis is slightly bent. Um, and you know what guys? Here's the thing. This truck is basically stock with zero maintenance. Now, most people won't brag about that, but I have never cracked the diffs ever. And I haven't replaced any of those parts. Obviously, if I never crack the diffs, obviously I've never replaced any parts. So I hear a lot of people, ugh, I won't even say what truck I'm talking about right now, that because of some of the issues I've had with it, they were like, oh, well, every truck's like that. You have to do this with every truck. And they were going on and on. Yeah, no, that's not the case, guys. Because this thing here has been basically bulletproof. And I'm running a big motor I'm running that 1730 kV and yeah guys I've done no maintenance and I know most people won't brag about that but hey uh, this truck has taken everything I've given it I do you guys want to try though I'm gonna head out I'm gonna try one more kind of launch here hopefully that doesn't ruin anything and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try a different spot I'm gonna put this ramp down on the grass where hopefully it doesn't move as much. I feel like I should have moved it back a bit. No, I want to do a little bit more air than that. Nice, so nice. I gotta say guys right now is if you're a sledge owner and you think that your truck is even close to what a Creighton EXB is yeah you're nuts because again guys I do have a slightly bent chassis I know that it's not too too bad but everything else is stock whoa did I land that oh I did um, everything else is stock guys and this thing just keeps going 
By now, if this had been the sledge, I would have broke a CVD. I would have bent the rear stock shock tower. Oh, I would have broken an arm. I would have stripped a spur. And yeah, creating the EXP. Rocking. And guys, again, that's with a 1730 kV motor. I gotta adjust my steering a bit though. Oh, geez. Are we still surviving? Of course we are. I know a few people have kind of said lately that my channel and that my videos are becoming nothing but a basically putting down tracks this session. But this is why, right here guys, what you're gonna watch in this video, what you've already watched, is the fact that I can come out, drive this truck, enjoy it, launch it, crash it, and as you can see, it's still running. And it's a stock Creighton EXB. <laughs> oh geez, worth about half. If I actually took guys what I have into my sledge now and what I'm gonna have into it very soon, this probably is half the money And uh, yeah, guys, I'm not even kidding. It is, it's actually not even in the same league as the sledge. It's just beyond that. Like, I hope guys, I, I, I'm not trying to constantly put down people that buy the sledge. If you're a Traxxas fanboy and you love Traxxas, hey, that's awesome, good for you. But pff, if you're looking for a true basher truck and you buy a sledge, prepare to spend some money. All right, one last send here, guys, and then we're gonna move the ramp somewhere. This is usually when things break. Woo, yeah. Surprise my battery connector didn't come undone. Guys, we're over here. No idea how this is gonna go. They just cut the grass, and obviously it was really long when they cut it, so it's kind of a mess back here. And I need to learn how to hit that ramp better. Woo, that's nice. Okay, uh, if I'm gonna keep doing that, I'm gonna move this ramp back a little bit. Yeah, of course that time I don't even make it barely to the hill. Oh no! Oh, now I gotta go down and get it though. That was nice. That was nice, guys. That was just off the ramp, no throttle, no brake, nothing in the air at all. Yes. Definitely makes for a nice landing though. You don't even hear it. Whew. Oh no. Oh. You know, it's the one funny thing, guys, about driving a Creighton EXB is that uh, you tumble it like that and you're not all that worried about what you're going to find when you get to it. <laughs> yeah! I just got, I can't do anything too crazy, guys, because people could come around the corners on their bikes. And yeah, that would not be good. Let's get back up here. 
All right guys, I repositioned the ramp more for kind of just not really coming up to the ramp with any speed, but kind of quick blips at the end. Whee! Uh, these trucks, this and the Mojave are gonna be such a mess. <laughs> All right guys, so I got the ramp set up over here now. I've got it on its highest setting. So we're not gonna do any like obviously high speed passes into the ramp or anything like that. We're just gonna come up, try some launches, see what kind of air we can get. This is more for, you know what, I'm gonna say, oddly enough, if you're kind of learning how to jump and all that kind of stuff. Whew, okay, that's nice. Uh, I was gonna say, if you're learning how to jump, you know, oddly enough, a lot of people that, you know, when they first start learning how to jump, they wanna take small jumps, but then they don't actually have the ability then to do any control because you're not getting high enough. And I don't know what I did there, but yeah, it's kind of, unfortunately guys, for people that are new, it does pay to have a slightly steeper ramp when you first start learning how to jump. And like, I don't know if you guys, I'm not sure which video I'm gonna release first, the Mojave EXB or this one, but we often kind of forget that there are a lot of new people getting into this hobby. And uh, you know what, they're, they're learning. So sometimes I come out and I'm talking to the people that have you know been driving forever and are hardcore. And then you forget that there's people that are new and they just wanna get into the hobby. That's fun for not coming in with a lot of speed. Let's try this time, we'll try a little bit more speed though. It's one thing I can tell though, ever since I ripped over there where it was really, really wet, the tires and the ramp are also Holy, oh geez. Whew. Oh, battery connector. All right guys, so I'm over here, I was plugging my battery back in and I noticed that it looks like I broke another fan. You guys have been on the channel, you've watched my videos, you'll know I break these fans all the time. And this one is clearly not spinning and it should be spinning right now. And I can feel yeah, there's some pretty good heat going on here. So you know what guys, that's gonna kind of end this run a little bit quicker than I thought. I was hoping to kind of get back, get the ramp set back up over there and do some more sends, but uh, yeah, not at the expense of my ASC. So again guys, KCRC ramp has been awesome. It is so much fun to be able to come out and set that angle. And if you wanna do you know higher jumps, lower jumps, further sends, whatever you wanna do, you can do that on the fly. But anyways guys, thanks for watching this video. If you did, give me a big thumbs up, please subscribe and have a great day.